Good God bless you today and forever. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks, and we are back at it. Going to jump right in and continue with the theme and the topic of generational blessings. You know, we talked about uh, Proverbs 13, 22 yesterday about the Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And I kind of uh, just shared with you uh, being transparent about what my God had put on my heart when I uh, uh, first got saved and, and how God knit me and my wife together in that uh, same uh, foundation of our vision and mission and how we have uh, been asking God to help us in a greater way um, um, move into a more perfect work for him being better getting uh, more uh, efficient and effective in what he would have us to do and we thank you for your prayers we thank you for your commitment your subscription means a lot to us and I, I just want to welcome you to the family you know and if you ever need anything and if I can help I will do my best to do so uh, there are some resources we got some connections that if we cannot do it ourselves maybe we can we can uh, um, um, give you a reference and maybe that can help you in the future but we want to welcome you to our family and 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 just want to thank you so much for being a part of our lives amen uh you know today the topic is 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 going to talk about generational blessings amen <laughs> how about that you know we heard about generational curses and we know that our uncle or or, or, or our aunt or our great grandfather they they might have some 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 curses you know they might have walked in a little curse you know but god says that uh when we when we're in christ jesus he makes us a new creature amen and uh he old things have passed away and behold uh, uh the new thing will spring forth and i just want to talk to you today under the subject and the topic of generational blessings just because you came from maybe poverty or maybe some dark places does not mean you cannot walk in a generational blessing i'm here to tell you let's look at a uh, uh, genesis chapter 15 and verse number one in genesis chapter 15 verse one god is talking to abraham the father of the faith and uh, at this time, his name had not been changed to Abraham. He's still Abram. He came out of, uh, of, 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 of where he's from. He came out of his, his place of birth where all of his family, all of his friends were. And he obeyed God. God said to get out of there and go to a land where I showed you. And, 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 and he obeyed and he walked in faith. And he's still going through some trials and some tribulations. But the Lord continue to lead and guide him and just like he did abram he'll do us so as long as we are obedient and we are willing we shall be kept in covenant blessings with jesus amen the bible says in genesis chapter 15 verse 1 after these things the word of the lord came to abram in a vision saying fear not abram I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. I am your abundant compensation and your and and the reward that I shall uh, pour out to you will be exceedingly great because I am exceedingly great. <laughs> Aren't you glad to hear that, amen? Aren't you glad to know mm -hmm, that, that even our greatest dreams are not big enough for God? That's where we hear the Lord being personified as our shield and our buckler, amen? He is our shield and our exceeding great reward. Come on, somebody. We've always uh, uh, focused on uh, um, uh, um, the things that we don't have sometimes when we're going through, amen, when we're really going through it, you know what I mean, we don't, it's hard for us to see past the, 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 
the trees because of the forest you know what i mean and 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 this is this is god's word coming to abram as he was walking toward his promise he had not walked into the place where god wanted him yet he was still walking by faith believing god amen and 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 moving not by what he saw but but why but by what god said and in that same way we must do the same, amen. Uh, the Bible says that, 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 that God spoke to him mm -hmm, in a vision. See, 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 sometimes God will visit us in dreams and visions, amen. He will put something in our spirit, in our heart, and as we meditate uh, and pray, and, and maybe uh, 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 fall asleep, God will give us dreams and visions of things that God wants us to do, say, act, or behave. Come on, somebody. And he came uh, uh -huh, to remind Abram who he is. And I came here today to remind us who God is. Is. The Bible says that, 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 that God uh, visited Abram and said, I am your shield. Come on, somebody. Baby, how many of you know if, 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 if God's your shield, he's better than any type of God bodyguard you could ever buy? Amen. He's better than CIA, FBI, uh, uh, DEA, T, uh, tobacco, and... and <laughs> Uh, tobacco and firearms. He's better than the Delta Force. He's better than Special Forces. He's better than any SEAL Team Six. He's better. He's better because he's 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 our exceeding great reward. And I don't care if you don't get anything else out of what I'm saying today, baby. Put your hand on your heart and throw your hands up to God and say thank you, Jesus for being my shield and my exceeding great reward. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody's down in the valley of the shadow of death and they're fearing evil. But I came here to, 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 to tell you it today in the name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. God says, fear not. He is your shield and your abundant compensation. Oh, it's going to be worth it, baby. It's going to, all the pain, all the sorrow, all the betrayal, all the treachery, all of the, mm, my Lord, hallelujah, all the tribulation, all the trouble, hallelujah. The victory is going to exceed it because God is going to do it. And he says, I'm going to exceed that and I'm going to compensate because he is the, oh my Lord. Lord, how Monday of a Sata. He is our abundant compensation, and our reward shall be exceedingly great. Oh my God. Woo! Could you believe that? If you could just believe that and start acting like you already got it, oh, how your life and your heart and your mind and your memory and your thoughts and your actions and your emotions would change. Say, I'm going to change today because we are going to walk in generational blessings. Somebody say generational blessings. Let's turn our Bible to the book of Psalms and let's go to Psalm 66 and 12 and let's look at another person king david that was going through amen and let's see what the word of the lord came and visit and shared with him amen <laughs> Woo! i love it i love it i love it psalm 66 verse number 12 psalm 66 verse number 12 says in the amplified bible mm-hmm that David said, you have caused men to ride over our heads when we were already laid out to the ground. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> now that's not the end of it. Don't hold on. There's generation of blessings. We're getting to the blessings, but you know, before the blessings, sometimes you might be battered and bruised. Sometimes you might have to go through a season of battering and battering and bruising. Amen. That's all right, baby. That's all right. That's all right, babe. Because remember what we said in Genesis chapter 15. He visited Abram in the midst of his trouble. And he said, fear not, baby. Fear not, for I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. Let's see what he says as David is confessing mm -hmm, about the things that he has been through. He said that you cause men to ride over our heads when we were laid out prostrate <laughs> laid out prostrate come on somebody it doesn't stop there mm -hmm. he goes on to say we went through fire and we went through flood have you ever been to a in a, in a fiery trial or have you ever been through something that you felt like you were going to drown and you were sinking in the midst of that 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 overflow a flood of affliction and you were like ah oh god you've caused this thing to happen and i don't feel like i'm gonna make it out listen listen it's not over lisa listen lisa listen it's not over <laughs> it's not finished come on somebody tell your neighbor it's not finished the Bible says that 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 that, that although mm -hmm, God calls David uh, to be laid prostrate while men rode over uh, his heads and the heads of the children of Israel, and and although uh, he, he, he he the children of Israel along with David walked through fire and through the flood. The Bible said that God, David, David said that, that, that God brought them out into a broad and moist place, a place that was abundant and refreshing, and it was in the midst of open air. Come on, somebody. Have you ever been drowning? Have you, <laughs> have you ever tried to get some air and couldn't get it? How does it feel when you finally get that breath of air? God said mm -hmm, in his word in the 12th verse of the 66th Psalm that although amen has had, he may have called some men to ride over your head when you was laid down flat on your belly or on your back and you went through fire and you went through the flood the bible says that he will bring you into a large place and give you a, 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 a access to open and fresh air hallelujah glory to god in the highest that's why in the name of Jesus, we must connect with Jesus Christ through the blood, through his blood, because in the blood was the covenant in the Old Testament. They, they, they sacrificed and, and, and had offerings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the Lord. As 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 a a a a a as a worship, so that they could prove to God that they wanted Him to be their shield, and that they could walk in the covenant blessing that God promised them when they obeyed His word. Mm. So we must walk with and be connected with Jesus Christ through his blood. And just like, my God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, just like uh, 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 David and Abram went through fiery trials, don't let anybody, don't let nothing steal your joy. If they can't, if the devil can't steal your joy, joy he can't take your stuff come on somebody god knows how to bring you out he knows how to bring you in 
Don't let anybody cut the umbilical cord that connects you to the word of God and access to the generational blessing. Come on, somebody. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Mm. Hallelujah. Bless your name in the name of Jesus. See, God will give you revelation. That's just that's just showing you something that you can't see before you see it. Amen. And, and the word of God visited David at a time where he was low down to the ground, where he was going through fiery trials. And he visited Abram to remind them, like I'm reminding you today, who he is. See, God is able to bring you into a large place mm -hmm, if you're faithful over what God has you now. God has given you now. God is able to bring you through the fire and through the flood so that you can know for yourself that he is your shield and your exceeding a great reward. He'll always bring you out if you go in and if you're willing to go in and be obedient. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why we need to position ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And in a position to receive the word of God. See, it's so easy to be uh, backstabbed and betrayed and begin to behave in a way that doesn't bring honor or glory to Jesus. Come on, somebody. It's easy to say mm -hmm. it was better when I was back at the bar. <laughs> drinking Boone's Farm and Bacardi 151. It's easy to say it was easier to, 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 to play off on my, on my wife or my husband mm -hmm, because, because they're a nag or they, I feel like I'm not getting the attention that I deserve. It's too easy. That's why Jesus said in the Gospels that narrow is the way that leads to everlife everlasting life but broad is the way and many are they that go that way that leads to destruction because that pathway is easy come on somebody you've been through too much to take the easy way out baby you are built for the battle you were born mm -hmm. You were born for a purpose, and that purpose is given, uh, God gives birth to your purpose when you're willing and you're obedient to continue to seek him and walk in the word that you know that he desires you to do. You don't have to have a biblical theology, uh, the theological uh, a master's degree. You don't have to be a reverend. You don't have to be a bishop. You don't have to be an apostle. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be, come on somebody, a prophet or a teacher or an evangelist. You don't have to, you don't even have to learn. You don't even have, you don't even need to learn how to read or right. If you get a word from God and you know it's from him and you have been obedient to that word, continue to be obedient in that word come hell or high water because the end of that thing God says in, in Psalm 66, 12 will lead you into a, 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 a oh my Lord have mercy into a large place of open air. Come on, somebody. Place of refreshing. Come on, somebody. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm praying that for us, that in this season, that we will walk smack dab into the generational blessing that God has laid up and prepared for all of those that are willing and obedient. Come on, somebody. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes to Jesus. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that this encourages you today. That his word has been settled in heaven. And if you settle it in your heart today, you'll walk right into the promised blessings. 
Let's pray. Father, I thank you that just like you came to Abram and said, fear not, we're not going to fear no evil for we know that you are with us, Lord. And we know that you said in your word that you are our shield and we thank you for being our shield. We thank you for being our exceeding great reward, Father. And just like you said in Psalm 66, 12, that although we might have been laid flat on our back and we might went through the fire, went through the flood, but you are leading us and we're not going to give out, give in we're going to go forward and you're going to walk us right into a large place where we can share what you give us to those that are looking up to us those that we love and that blessing come on somebody that flowed down from heaven in the beginning mm -hmm, will flow right into our lives and into the lives of those that come after us. God, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Say, I receive it. If you receive it and you believe it, I want you to know it's just a matter of time before you have it in your life. I love you. Praying for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.